Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to everybody around the world. Welcome back to another One Piece video featuring your boy Enel. Get ready for a very, very spicy deck profile in which I'm very excited to bring to you. You guys know me. I don't generally play a whole bunch of yellow decks here on the channel. But I was thinking about it, and the amount of people that come to locals or the amount of local events I've been to... And Nell seems to be one of those decks that isn't played as much anymore in OP06. At the Hampton Regionals, there's only 11 Anel, Anel decks overall. And that's not counting whoever played them on the side events and all that sort of thing. That's just the people that were in the big event. Now, Anel in itself is very, very strong. He allows you to gain a life, essentially, if you go down to zero once per turn on your on your opponent's turn which is really really good right so it allows you to stall out the game until you're able to you know stabilize with with bigger bodies such as yamato or katakuri and all that sort of thing he's the same monster he has been in op05 except for in op06 we have gained access to newer tools such as onami and some other wano cards and all that sort of thing but this is just one list which is a more sky pf package with you know ohm Gadetsu, Reject, and you know, the whole ordeal. But, this is one way that you can build this deck and do perfectly fine. I'm going to show you guys two different decks today. This is one here that I created, and then I'll show you one that we are going to be playing with as well. So if you're more interested in the Skypea variant, you can stop the video here and copy pasta or what have you, and then go about your day. But, we're going to break down both decks. Now, in this one particularly here, we do the whole ordeal with the, the four cost category, sorry, the four ratios of category. I do think this is going to be staple, and no matter what variant of Enel you are playing, due to the fact that you will see Green Kid pretty much all over the place. This guy allows you to remove him from play. Also, he allows you to heal plus one if you choose to, which is really, really good. And then, of course, we do keep up the Yamatos and the Enels here in the list. And Nell and himself, the seven costs, will do really well into Gekko Moria and Sakazuki. The removal decks will have to remove him twice to get rid of him. He comes on the board with Rush with 7k, it was quite strong. Now, with that being said, he does suffer from certain matchups. Again, Gekko Moria can beat him a little bit easier than other decks can. He has good matchups into Katakuri, Sakazuki, Yamato, Reiju. All of the decks in OPO5, in which you know he dominated in. But your locals may consist of a lot of Katakuri matches or players or a lot of Yamato players. Yamato into Katakuri is heavily favored towards Anel. And that's strictly because you have a leader ability that allows you to say no, you can't kill me. Which is awesome, right? And then at the end of the day, once they pass that turnover, you can just rinse, repeat, recycle. Play down Katakuri, put a Shirahoshi back on life, or put a Beji back on life, or what have you. Heal up, play Yamato, heal up. Every time they swing with that double attack, you gain two cards off the life, and then your leader ability can trigger to heal E plus one, and then whatever cards you have in hand, you counter out. It's a whole ordeal. This makes this leader very, very easy to deal with. The Sakazuki matchup hasn't changed all too much, nor has the Katakuri. But if you want to take a peek, at another list that we have here for OP06. This is another deck in which is a little bit different. I kinda dropped the Sky Pia engine here in this one in favor for more of a Wano package with Tikinojo, Hiori, and Momonosuke. I've also seen some Katakuri players out there running Hiori, you know, Tikinojo and Momonosuke as well. And I figure why not do this in Anel? It's very strong. Considering the fact that we can play down Hiori, we can stack our life with Kikyo or Onami or Maru, the zero cost event, and prolong the game state. But I've also realized our toughest matchup right now, so far in my opinion, is Gekko Moria, which Gekko has a very hard time dealing with Kikinojo. Because unlike Sakazuki, they can just bottom deck this and we get no value. They have to Ice Age, Absalon it, Greater Eruption, Absalon it, you know what I mean? And as soon as she dies, you heal a life. Which, in Anel's case, is highly favorable towards him. Let's be fair. But then on the other hand, you can do the exact same thing with Katakuri. 
by playing this man on board, or playing Hiori first, stacking a life, dropping Katakuri, and then putting this on top, on top of the life you've already stacked with Hiori, which is really, really good. The downside to this is I'm fighting for a seven slot between Enel and, and Big Mom. I'm debating going full force into the Enel just so it gives me a little bit more pressure playing into the Gekko Moria matchup. Having that rush unit with 7k is a little bit more beneficial towards me, opposed to Linlin sometimes because it's a little bit slower. But I do like them both. I've tried different variants here. Let me know what you think about that and all that sort of thing down in the comment section below. The zero cost events, I've decided to max these out because this is something in which I want to see in my final life, if possible. If not, I can plant it with Hiyori and make sure I heal two times instead of just one with my leader ability, which is very strong. But overall, we're going to dive into a couple games today. Hope you guys are ready for this. Remember to smash the like button, make sure to subscribe for future content when it comes to all things One Piece, and I'll catch you at Locals. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to dive into a bunch of games today with Enel. At least I'm going to try to. Try to get out of here maybe within an hour or so. You know how I am. It's always an hour long video. I don't know why. But if we somehow get out of here before an hour, I'll probably just do more games that way, you know. After this video though, I will be working on my regional uploads. I'm currently waiting for the last one to finish uploading as we speak. I got four games posted for you. I did I did eight. We should have did nine, but all of the numbers and stuff apparently didn't add up correctly. It did say nine when we first went into the regionals. And for some reason, we ended up doing eight. It's it's all good. Pair downs and all that sort of thing. But I had enough space to, to do four games here. So hopefully you enjoy those. I'll try my best. I got I got some wins and some losses within those four games. I think we have one loss, be it to Katakuri, within the four that we're showing today. I wish I was able to get all of them. But we'll talk about my games and all that sort of thing within those videos before they get uploaded. Does that make sense? Anyway, let's dive into these matches today and see what we can do. Now, unfortunately, sadly enough, this is going to be a new gate. It's going to be a tougher matchup, especially for Enel here. Depending on how many new gates he sees, we're talking like the nine cost. But our hand is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, we did have to put Onami here on top, and we are only popping the Nami. So, there's that. But we can counter out of this hit. I do know I don't want to take as much damage as I normally would versus a New Gate versus some other decks, which I'm normally okay with. Considering they run like Luffy and Ace and, and all that sort of thing. But I will, every single turn, we will stack the dice and go 6k and see what we can do. We're looking to just get cards out of hand here. I'm not looking to go crazy and go in 8k and all that sort of thing. It's just a waste. But I want to make sure I'm able to develop Kikinojo here and hopefully she stays on board. Because if this card can stay on board, I don't have to commit any Dawn to her. She's just going to poke every turn for six. I'll take this hit as well. That does suck though. We got two Yamatos in hand off of my triggers there. It's pretty terrible. Three Dawn left for him. I'm assuming another searcher and then maybe a swing. Okay, never mind. We'll take this hit. Ooh. I guess we'll just discard Yams here. It's not really much of a a hard problem, I guess. Gets the Thori down on the board. That's another poker. Not sure why he didn't swing. I guess maybe he didn't want me to just draw and discard cards. I guess it makes sense. But I feel sometimes players don't know how to combat an L. If you're not looking to go for a game, there's no reason to push me down to one and just stop. You know what I mean? Leave me at two. That way you don't have to worry about my leader ability and all that sort of thing. And you're not giving me new cards, you know? Is that one life? My Yamato is always going to be active. I'm always going to heal one. It's a whole ordeal. There goes another Marco, which is nice. I think that's the second one that he's thrown away. Let's go eight here. Let's get just a little aggressive. Cool, we got a damage in. I wanted to at least try to put him down to one to two life before he gets up to the nine cost new gate, because then it'll be a problem. I'd imagine he tries to clear a board here, which he should. 
So if he has Ace, this would be the best time. So Tori can go. We don't have to counter for it anyway. Blockers, perhaps, because you're going to need them. All right. What's the point? Though This is so cool when I think about it, because Kikinojo kind of acts as that pseudo blocker. Whereas you have the opportunity to kill it, but if you do, I gain a life. And then they can't attack into me because if I if they do, I gain a life and get the cycle. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like I'm just chilling until he's able to take me down or I'm able to stabilize with Katakuri. Which now we can actually. So we can attack six first, right? Then attach it on to Nell and attack six again. Drop the Katakuri, put Kikinojo back on top of life, and then we're chilling. We're not really worried about trying to do damage here, so if I get an event, that'd be awesome. I did. Sweet. Alright, let's do the thing and put her on top of life and pass it up. Our hand is pretty good, especially considering what we're going to be doing here. Two Shirahoshis, another Katakuri. I don't think we're going to be looking to play down Yamato, though. So if we can get a zero cost event or discard it with the Shirahoshi, that would be great. I'm probably just going to double up healing with Katakuri. That's going to be a problem. One Dawn open. Clearly a Rad Beam or a Guard Point. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get an attack in for my turn. Hmm. Gotta take this hit here. Yep. Satori, go to 10. Let's just attack with Kinojo here. I don't want to dawn up my leader. Instead, we'll attack with her, go to 8k, and then play down another Katakuri and do the thing again. Unfortunately, Nougat kind of stalls me out here a little bit. At least we get some, some poke damage in. Let's bounce her back to life. We heal up again. He's got seven cards in hand, though. So if he does have another new gate, this could be a problem. That's a lot of bodies on board that I can't do anything with. So when he decides to swing for all three and leader, hopefully we're ready by then. But for now, he can only clear out my Hiori's with, with new gate. But he can't attack... Dawn and swing, unless he decides not to play another new gate from hand. Hopefully he does not have another nine cost, because if he does, this match is probably gonna get, get a lot more difficult. Because that would be three bodies plus leader swing in the following turn, which I guess we could lose game depending on what our triggers would be. We'll counter out of this with a 2k. I don't want to take this one right now. I'm hoping he'll attack me with Luffy and or Newgate here. Just one or the other. Considering I still have two life. But the smart thing would probably be just to play Newgate if he has it. Nice. And then pass turn. Good job, buddy. Well played. Alright. Get another Onami. That's not helping me right now. Hmm. Yamato is not killing anything. I don't heal for that either. This might feel like an odd play, but it's probably my only play right now. Let's play down Shirahoshi. Get the draw cards. Oh. Actually, I think that Amaru would probably just win us the game here. We'll get rid of Yamato and probably the Onami. Considering she's kind of irrelevant at this point in the game. So I'm not going to be able to burn that life away for free anyway. Let's do that and keep the 2k and the Amaru. Just in case we have to play down another Katakuri, we have one. Let's bounce back another Kikinojo or the Shirahoshi. Let's go poking. Can I get the, the event, please? I know you got one. Nice. All right. Five cards left to deal with. I would think he would attack with everything here. But little does he know, my last life is set up here. 
go for 2k. There's no way you don't attack with everything you've got. Well, hold on. Two. I guess he still wouldn't kill me, right? So, never mind. Unless he has like an ace or another uh, Luffy. That feel when he draws into one off of Nami Search would, would suck. Okay, Rad Beam. We're chilling. We're chilling, boys. You gonna swing or. About time. I was about to say, Luffy hasn't done anything since so it's been put on board. We'll take this. We'll pass up that. And I think now we can probably go for game next turn. Shirahoshi's gonna pop here. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, do the event first. Doesn't really matter which one we discard at this point, right? If we have to discard the other one for leader effect, so. Another 12k swing or 10k swing. Not sure why he's hesitating there. Why are you attached on? Oh yeah, Iori is on board. My bad. That's my bad. So we're getting the Maru. We go 6, 6, 10, and then the rest of it on the other category, which would push it up to 16. But let's go ahead and try to get as many cards out of hand first as we can. Another 8. This should counter out Rad Beam, and then plus one. Essentially. Nice. Sweet. Rest that. Does he have another Rad Beam? That's the question. So you need two Rads. Rad Beam? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Come back at you guys with another game in which it looks like we are going to be playing against Red Purple Law, which is unfortunate because these two decks themselves are going to be the top decks in OP06. Even right now in OP06, and now is kind of under the radar, and you don't see a lot of Red Purple Law currently. He is out there. Very spooky to play against. But he does take that number one spot once OP07 comes out. These are going to be the two best decks in the format, I think. But we'll see how everything goes. Anyway, our hand is pretty good right now. I, I can't lie. Unfortunately, we do have the Onami here, which isn't going to get a lot of value. Unless he messes up and plays a body on board first and then attacks. But at least for our next turn here, we can actually go ahead and stack our life with Hiyori. We could opt to play this, discard the 7 drop and the 5 drop Momo here. But it's probably not beneficial, so let's not do that for now. What is he going to drop here? Yonji. Interesting. I've seen a couple lists run this card. But normally it's like... Uh, Shir Shiraya, right? And then it's the kid. Not so much the Yonji. It's a little weird. But eats the own. It does work, it's just not... I guess as good, and I don't see it as frequently. At 5 Dawn. We can do the thing. There's no reason to play Momo down here, unfortunately. Take top life. I guess we'll put Onami on top. We'll go 8k to face. So this way he's either forced to counter out, block with Yanji, and in the following turn we can kill the, the Beppo or the Yanji left. Okay, never mind. He guards out. Hmm. I guess that was smart, but still. Never mind, he messed up. We'll kill that. Four Don left to play with. There's the other problem. Let's go six. I think we should counter out of here, to be fair. So now we'll go up to seven Dawn. So we have enough to play down a Nell if need be. Raise you. Yep, they get to do the thing. It's looking quite spooky here. Let's go. Let's go five into Beppo. I want to see what he wants to do here. If he decides to block out with Shirai, he becomes 5k. Just let it go, you don't need it. Okay, never mind. That makes me think he either has one more Shirai in hand, or that's his only counter card he's got going on. We 
could play down Kikyo. But if we play down to Nell here, we can possibly get in and kill the Beppo. I feel like he'd have a much easier time of removing this for free. Whereas in Nell, he'll at least have to do a little bit more. So let's get him on board. And then we'll try to get down the Beppo here. It's better than going for life. Nice. I'll pass it up. Four Dawn to play with. Hmm. A Gordon only gets me the 4k. So he would need a Gordon and then like an Otama or like a Max and a Gordon or what have you to kill the Nell here. That was a really good beige. Sorry, buddy. Now this makes it awkward for him, actually. Because I'd imagine he'd want to stack those three Dawn on Law to swing into the Anel. Okay, alright, this works. This is the thing. But do you do it, though? Okay. Now I'm a 4k. And an Otama. I don't know why he did this, though, unless he has Zoro in hand. Or, like, another body in hand that he can just attack into this. There's no shot he does this with Shiraiya. Shirai I guess he does. Never mind. He's going for... Why would you go for me in that case? Oh, I see. I get it. We gotta counter out. If we decide to take the hit, then the Nell thing, yeah, no. Well played, though. Good try. Alright, so that goes up to 5 for the rest of the turn. What could he possibly play here? He wouldn't play a 2k counter. Maybe another blocker? Okay. So he's trying to remove me here. I guess we'll just use it and just save him. I know it sucked because we had the zero cost event, but what are you going to do? I didn't know it was there. I'd rather at least keep the Nell. I don't know why he didn't try to kill the seven cost there, but that's fine. Maybe he thought I had the counter in hand. I don't know. Shirahoshi to the rescue, though. Let's get rid of that. And maybe the Gidetsu or the Onami here. Gidetsu at least pops a Shiraya for me for free if I need to. Onami's probably not going to get a lot of value. Hmm. Let's get rid of the Katakuri. That way we keep the other counter. And now we need to heal here. We also need to clear board. One way or the other. So Shirai is still a 5k right now. Which is not that much of an issue considering we just smack into it and hope that he just pitches cards from hand. But the Zoro and Shirai have got to go here. Let's go 7. We need to save at least 1 Dawn to attach the leader here. So we need to heal up a life for Katakuri. Let's go 6 into this. Let it go. Thank you. Alright, cool. We're chilling. And then my leader ability will, will reset and we're good to go. Now we have two life again. This is what makes, I think, law players either really, really good or really, really bad. It's so hard to play the deck efficiently enough and still have the, the Dawn management to make sure you clear all the problem threats. It's a very skill-based deck to play, and I think it's probably one of, if not the hardest deck out there. You might argue Sakazuki is, is a thing, but as many times as we've seen Rob Lucci and Rebecca hit the board, I don't know, man. I beg to differ, but each their own. I think Queen is pretty challenging, too, for a lot of people. Because you have to remember so many cards. Same thing with Nami, but still. Anyway. You can get rid of Reject, Onami... I think we should keep the 2k counters. Reject's probably not getting a lot of value here because you don't really need to kill the, um, the raise you just like right away. And then we'll trash the Shirahoshi. I think the Amaru might be pretty valuable in this scenario. 
Oh, that's nice. We can heal again. So we'll pop the the Reiju on board. Now we're cooking, boys. Now we're cooking. I think this game is probably over at this point. Because we have 4k counter in hand. He can't really remove anything on board right now with only 3 Dawn. But it was a good game, though. These are the matches in which, like, I very much enjoy. I think this deck is very strong still in OP06. But there are also other decks, such as, like, Red Purple Law, who are kind of under the radar. But when you see it, you gotta play against it, and it's like, oh crap, you know what I mean? It's very hard to deal with. If it wasn't for my leader ability, I think that they'd have a lot easier of a time dealing with an L. But, each their own. There's not much else he can do at this point, I don't think. He might be able to remove maybe one or two targets here, or sorry, one target here and then drop a blocker on board. But I think that's about it. Shariah first. Okay, or not. Going AK. Hmm. This will counter out. I don't know why he did it like that. So Yamato goes bye bye. Sure. Oh, he didn't have anything. Oh, good game, buddy. It was fun. Hey look, everyone's favorite leader. I feel like every match that I try to play today has been nothing but Yamatos everywhere. I've seen very little Sakazuki. I've seen no Reiju in the past couple days. I'm not sure why. I think she's a fantastic leader. But Yamato, um, Newgate. For some reason, for me, Katakuri, of course, and an L. I've been running into a lot as of late. But in any case, this matchup is rather difficult for them to actually go for game due to our leader ability. And that in itself usually carries you, especially versus any variant of Yamato. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what our top life is. Ooh, okay. All right. Um, I guess we just throw Beji on top. It's not really going to help us. So, it'd be what it'd be. Unfortunately, like, I can't. So, we'll just go ahead and put another Hiori on top of life. Either or wouldn't really matter. So. Yep. We'll take the first hit. Okay, so we get a Yamato off of that, which is really nice. If we make it to late game. Looks like we have a Skypea variant of Yamato, so this shouldn't be that difficult. What do you get here? The hesitation kind of tells me they didn't get anything, but who knows. Okay, so they got a zero cost event. So I'm going to try to pressure that out of hand here, because we can't play anything really. Other than a Hiori if we wanted to. So let's go 9k. This will force them to give me the event and then plus one or plus two. Or plus two, sorry. Okay, cool. So they take the damage instead. Love to see it. We don't have anything else left to do besides play down Hiori. But I don't think there's a reason to, just in case they have a, like a Onami right now, and then try to just swing for my last two life. Ohm. We all know you have dog in hand, don't lie to me. No dog? Are we chilling? I think we're chilling, boys. We got there. One Dawn open. 7k here. We could pitch the zero cost event. But these also just give me two cards here for free. Um, 
It might be better just to take the hit, like realistically. I'm not necessarily worried about it. Uh, you know what? Let's keep this trigger as well, or Satori, sorry. Just so we have it in case he does have an Onami in hand, he just decided not to use it that turn. Because if we play this, we're discarding another 2k, so. Hmm. We can trash Mom. Four, five, six. Actually, we probably should have kept Mom. I should have got rid of the Yamato, I think. Tori can go. They've got a lot of cards in hand, so I'm expecting Hody to come down at some point. Let's go five here. Just, just remove it. Because all it takes is one Dawn and then leader ability for it to keep swinging at me. Let's bounce this on top of life, and we'll pass the turn. This should keep us safe from at least the Hody Yamato combo. And then we'll have to pitch a card for the Ohm when he swings. Speaking of which, no dog again? You love to see it, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll take those. We'll take those. It's fine. Still, that's a 10k swing unless he decides to play like a blocker of some sort or play another card down on board. This would be like a pretty decent time to play down Momo. Even though he can't bounce anything to life, it's still a body that he has to protect himself. It's 8k swing. This would require two 2Ks, or the zero event, plus a 2K. Let's just take the hit. I was going to say, it's definitely not worth it there. This time around, we can do the thing. Actually, you know what? No, let's take the hit, too. Sweet. Let's kill the other Ohm. We'll do Onami first. Okay. Um... I'm debating on discarding the Yamato, but I kind of want her as well. She will heal me. We have three Hiyori's in hand, which we don't need that many, so this should be okay. Guess we should drop the Yamato instead. That sucks. Hmm. Will he guard out here? He's got a lot of cards in hand. We have ten Dawn up. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's play down Hiyori, right? Let's set up our life with a zero cost event. And then we'll play down another Katakuri to, to do the do the thing, you know? Because that way now, when he does decide to double attack me, we'll take damage, but we'll take two heals this time instead of one. Hmm. Shirahoshi would be pretty good here too, though. But I think this will allow me to prolong myself into endgame with the zero event. It's just smarter to do it like that. Bounce this on top. Okay. Let's go 8k to face. Nice. Of course. Let's go 5. Alright. I think I might have taken that hit if I was Yamato. Just in case that was another trigger. And then they could have had 3 bodies on board plus leader. Then possibly a Hody swing. That'd be 5. I mean, we do have 5k counter in hand, plus one on top of life here, so I think we would have been fine anyway. Alright, so there's the first Amaru. Goes up to 8k. There's 9. 7. Eight. I guess we'll just take this hit instead. Because this way... Actually, wait, wait, wait. If we take this hit and he does have Hody, we could possibly lose the game, right? Mathematically, that's seven. One, two, three. We have to counter out here. As much as I don't want to, we have to. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, 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 we have to counter out. Because we don't have counter for the other cards there if we decide to take that hit individually. No Dawn. If he swings without Dawn, he doesn't have Hody. Okay. Six. Mm. Let's give him the 2k. 
I don't want to use my zero cost event just yet, if I can help it. Perhaps he doesn't have it though. Oh, he does. Okay. Never mind. That was, that was dumb of me not to think that, I guess. 10k into Katakuri? Right? There's no way you go for leader. Nice. Okay. He still has like eight cards in hand. Let's go five to face. And then we'll just stack everything on Katakuri here. Eighteen K, I think this is GG's. But overall though, so far, this list is doing really well into like every Yamato deck I've come across. More so fortress builds. I've, I've run into them a lot more, but each their own. Is anybody else ready for their favorite leader, Katakuri? I'm not. But here he is for those of you guys who actually really enjoy playing this deck. It be what it be. Very strong deck in the metagame. I'm tired of seeing it. I know you are too. But still, it's still something we have to deal with in OPO6 and OPO7, unfortunately. But it be what it be. We'll come back at you guys playing another Nell game in which... I'm looking to be as very aggressive as I possibly can before they can actually get down to the, the big mom turn. So I'm going to pop down this Paro Sparrow here with my Gidetsu. There's no reason for me to swing here for six and or five. I want to kill this regardless of what they get. Just because it minuses a body on board and I don't have to deal with it for later. Sorry, buddy. I don't really care what they draw at this point. Yep, cool. They got nothing. That sucks. Usually you don't want to do that, and it feels kind of bad, especially when they do get the draw. But in this case, I want to control board. And I've noticed that playing my Anel a little bit more aggressively allows me to do such things, such as just drop the Kadetsu, kill Peros, or kill whatever body is on board. And then I'm chilling. Because the 7k swing from Katakuri is already hard enough to contend with in the early game. Speaking of which, that's a lot of 2k counters we just got. Hmm. We have Kika Nojo here too as well, which is very good in this matchup. Let's go 7 to face. See if we can get rid of cards in hand. Okay, that'll work. 6 Dawn left to play with. Let's go 7 again. Then we'll play down Kika Nojo. Sweet. Alright, so they're at 7 Dawn. I'd imagine they play on a blocker here, maybe. Or a Kikyo of their own. Or Big Mom. But if he plays down Big Mom, he cannot do his leader ability. Okay, never mind. Going 8k at me again. Uh, we'll counter out of this. And we'll counter out of it if he attacks with Paro as well. I think keeping Gadetsu on board here is going to benefit us quite a bit. We'll take this hit. There's a Mom. A Sanji blocker. Okay. We're up to 9 here. We can play down Yamato. We don't heal up, but we can remove the blocker and not have to deal with it. Let's do that. I really wanted to play Big Mom, but I'm just like, you know what? This is probably the better play. We'll go 6 here. Okay, let's go five into Paro. All them attacks, man. That's crazy. Mm. I don't want to take too many hits. I feel like if I take that hit, I can't guard guard out of the Katakuri one. Because all this Dawn available. And I think if I were to take that smack, he would just big mom to me. Now he has to make the choice of either drop the big mom now or just go seven or ten, I guess, because that's the thing. You got it, buddy. Goodness, relax. I'm assuming he did not have ten cost mom there. 
or maybe he does and just didn't want to play it. That would feel a little weird. But he's got six Dawn left to play with. He establishes a Gidetsu. Not sure if that was the play. But alright. Mm, we could heal up and kill the Paro Sparrow. Play down Katakuri. Attack with Kikinojo into the Paro. Or just go 10k to face. Another Sanji. That sucks. Hmm. I can rest it though. And then maybe we can go for game. Let's do the thing. Let's reject the last life. Sorry, buddy. Let's go 7 here, then 7 with Gadetsu. This will definitely be the, the last Yamato game we include here today. I played, again, nothing but Yamato's all day today. Uh, that looks quite familiar. You know, you know, I, I might know a guy. I might know a guy. Hold on. <laughs> There's no shot he thought about this by himself. That's crazy. Tanks. All right. Cute. All right, buddy, go ahead, finish your turn, please. Let's, let's, let's get moving. We got things to do today. More Yamatos to beat, probably, unfortunately. 9k to face. Hmm, yeah, we take it. I'm not giving my hand for this. Yep. Shirahoshi. We get rid of one Yama. Gadetsu's not gonna get a lot of value here either. But he is a two, he is a 1k counter, but we have two of them here. Get rid of one of him. I think we're chilling at this point. We could do the Onami thing here, but I don't think that uh that's pretty valuable. Maybe he won't expect it. We could try it. Because that'll make us go 8k and uh, maybe discard a top card from his life. Because he is at 3 now. So it's a pos- or sorry, I'm at 1 from that attack. It's a possibility. Get down to Gadetsu. Let's remove this. Get this out of the game. Just in case he's going to drop a Momonosuke. Go 5 to face. I don't really care if any of these are triggers. At this point. Because we have access to Big Mom the following turn. And we should be fine. Considering that he has double attack. There's a Sanji blocker. We'll take those. We'll pass it up. I think I might have just taken that hit if I was Yamato. To be fair. There's another Hiori. So he's stacking life again. Four Dawn left. I'm assuming he's gonna double attack me again. Yup. And this is just like, this is one of those things when I was telling you like this matchup is not that difficult once you realize what goes on here. We trash a card, but at the same time, we're just, we just get to cycle things, which is really nice. Oh, I get a blocker here too. We're at seven. We could big mom this, but let's go ahead and burn the life that he put up there. Let's give this banish. I want to go nine and nine, I think, here. Let's see what he wants to do. Or I guess nine and seven. Math is hard. Oh well. Okay. Actually, let's play down the other Onami. Considering he gave me the zero cost event, maybe he doesn't have this. There's no shot. Oh. Look at me. Well played. Alright. No one expects the double Nami banish into the 5k swing. That's crazy. Where are we at? He's at 8 Dawn here. Soul focus and trash. One Zoro as well. Zero cost event. I think we're chilling, boys. We'll guard out of this. I think keeping Gadetsu alive is pretty important at this moment. Hmm. I guess we get rid of the Big Mom. Because otherwise we're kind of just playing off curve. Momo might be useful. If we need a blocker on board. Speaking of Momo. Okay. This might be the prime time actually to have kept Big Mom too. Because that way we can just forcefully gain a life instead of getting rid of their Hiori. Hmm. 
Katakuri would be helpful here too. Because we can just bounce back an Onami at the top of our life or Shirahoshi. Yamato heals us. But we can't outswing the uh, the 6k blocker, so. Put this on top. This way we're able to kill the Momo. There's no way you counter this. Yep. You got no trigger, what are you doing? The stall is real. So this should give us the 2k. Okay, alright, or take it. Trigger. Nice, love to see it. Alright, so we can burn out the Momonosuke here with the Onami. Unless he does like a banish ordeal here. This would be prime time. Hmm. What do you do? Okay. Impact. I like it. Or reject, sorry. Got six Dawn left to play with. Why, though? Okay. We'll pop this. Beige is useful or useless. Discard Kadetsu here or the Momo. Kadetsu still has the counter, but the Momo might be a little bit more valuable into the later game if we need it. Because we do have Hiori in hand. What might that be? Zero cost event, perhaps? 10 Dawn. Let's see what he wants to do here. We can gain a life and pop the Hiyori in case he has Momo in hand again. Or we can play Big Mom down and force him to give us a life. I think this is probably the better play. Just in case. This should be game. GG? Nice. We'll probably do one more game after this one. Give or take, I'm looking for probably like a Perona or Gecko Moria. Whatever, whatever shows up, it is what it is. Both matches can give Anel kind of a hard time, especially with the Dofi lockdown, the Moria clearing all the bodies. But we'll see. In any case, we're playing against another Red Purple Law. This is the second time I've seen this guy of the day. Like I got paired up against him, you know what I mean? I wasn't really trying to play another Red Purple Law, but... It be what it be. It's a very challenging deck to deal with. For pretty much everybody. So. But in any case. Let's dive into this one here. We'll get down Kikyo. Unfortunately she's not going to get a lot of value. Considering she did not come off trigger here. And unless he has a Gordon. She might be able to do damage. We'll take this first hit. Get the Maru here. Mm, we'll keep it. I guess we could use it and burn out the 7 Mom. And like a reject or something, but I don't think that's worth it right now. Another five. We'll take this hit as well. Get a veggie. Hit the leader. So now this will make his turn awkward. Instead of attaching Dawn, he has to actually play cards. Speaking of Gordon, I guess that was Max, but same difference. Alright, so we get the big mom. Let's go five into the I'm in hopes that he gives, you know, gives it up please. You don't need it. Well played. Cool. She already got the value. I just assumed he wouldn't, wouldn't guard for it. Wow. Okay. Not a lot of players opt to just give life away. But I'll take it. I mean, I guess giving a yellow player an extra life is probably like not the way to go, but eats the road. Depends on the matchup and you know the setting, but all that sort of thing. Hmm, we'll take this hit as well. Get a Hiori. Which is really good, because we can set up our next life if need be. I'm assuming there's Zoro here. Nope, okay. Aggressive. We'll take it. Hey, you love to see it. Yellow things. Let's go, boys. Hmm, we'll get rid of the, the reject here. It might be useful to get rid of one of the laws, but I'd rather keep our 7 cost Nell and Big Mom, just in case. 
We don't draw into like a Yamato or something. Now the leader ability. Mm. We'll discard the Anel here. I think the mom will get us more value because it'll take his life away and or heal us. So he already has four bodies on board here. Getting that extra life would be pretty huge for us right now. We're at nine dawn. Let's try to clear a little bit of these units here. We can go seven into like the, um, the penguin. And then we will run mom into something as well. This is probably the better move. No, no guard. That's crazy. All right, so I get the heal up here, which is nice. Or not. Okay. A little crazy, but all right. Sure. I'm not giving you my 2k for this. That's crazy. Ooh, Shir Hoshi. Love to see it. All right. Let's get rid of Yamato. And then we'll get rid of Amaru. I think it's probably better to do that. We need to be a little bit more defensive here. We only have one life left. And I don't know what it is. I'd like to keep the Amaru, but we have the zero cost event to put it to the bottom if we need to. And there's no way we drop 2k counters here at all. He has all that Dawn left to play with. So, depending on what this life is, we can pitch that for the zero cost. Yep, cool. So there's that for the leader ability. And what's this life here? We counter out. It still has enough to play a Zoro down and swing for seven. Or minus and then play a Zoro and swing for seven. Either way, Zoro can come down here and hit me for 7k if he has one. I think we should take this hit instead of getting rid of both my 2k counters. Yep. Nice. All right, we got there, boys. Good try, buddy. Good try. Really? Hey, the zero cost event, though. Came in handy. I think this is all he can do. He played one down from hand in the leader ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're chilling, boys. We're chilling. GG. Sure, why not? We'll run it back. Alright, so again, after this game, we're only doing one more, alright? I don't care if he wants to do another rematch, it is what it is. We've, I'm, I'm had enough with red, red, purple, lol today, to be fair. Like, I'm fed up. <laughs> well, let's see what he can do this time. We didn't see any Reijus, though, by the way. So I'm not sure if he's running them or he just didn't draw them. Unlucky, but we'll see. Mm, let's go 8k to face. Or do we just go 5? Let's go 5. Let's go 5. Because I think 8k, he'd be more inclined to take the hit. Whereas a 5k swing or a 6k swing, he'd probably guard out, right? Nice. Cool. That worked in my favor. Let's go. But that also leads me to believe he has another one of those in hand. And if that's the case, we can potentially get debt to it during our next turn. Nice. Speaking of Raju, you're so cool, buddy. You're so cool. Let's go five. Let's kill that. Let's go five to face. There goes another blocker from his hand. Not sure why he's throwing those away. Um, sure. Let's counter out. I mean, we have to take that one, unfortunately. I probably should have thought about that a little bit more and just countered out, or not countered out of the ragey one, and then countered out of the law, maybe. I don't know. I guess either way it didn't matter. I was getting hit, right? So we have enough for the Anel. Let's go five into this. Sure. Let's do it again with seven. I need to clear... Wow. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Reiju is here to stay, apparently. Well, bye, Anel. Oh, that's smart. I can I can appreciate that. Well played. I don't know, don't know why I countered that out. That was really bad on my part. I should have not have done that. 
There's no reason for me to burn a life here either, by the way. So just kill it with his law. So, he got it. That was really good. Alright, so we gotta keep it Nojo. Unfortunately, he's still at four life, though. What do we do? Let's we pop one with our Yamato, then we attack five into the other in hopes that he gives it to us this time. Come on. You gotta know I have Yami. You gotta know. Fair. That's our third Shirai we've seen. Unfortunately, we won't heal up if we decide to play her right now. And he's still at four life, so... Hmm. This is our only real option. This is our only real option here, so we have to do it. It at least gives us a little bit of board control. And we do have more hand than he does, so... We could counter out. I don't think Onami is going to get a lot of value here either. Never mind. Speaking of Onami. Appreciate you. I'll take it back, everything I said. Another raise you. Sure. Hmm. We're in a tough spot right now. We could Omaru to rest one of the other units to kill it. Or we can just go five. Or six, sorry. This will this way we have nine done left to play with. We go six. Nice, get a damage in. Let's go nine. Cool. We play down Kikinojo. I know this is weird and a little bit backwards, but if we play her down and we can bounce her to life. That way we have two. Normally I'd rather get her off trigger or let her stay on board to attack, but in this case, he's probably just gonna bottom deck her anyway. But at least having two life will allow us to survive this turn and then hopefully win the next one. If Yamato also stays alive on board. We'll counter out. If he goes 5 again, we can counter out this as well. So I'm thinking about, like, if he has Zoro here, that could be a problem. Or he plays down a Gordon, or, and two Gordons and a Raise Max, or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, you got it. Not much else I'm going to do about it. It is one Dawn open. So it's probably safe to say Momo is going to go here. Yep. Or Kiki no Joe. Fair enough. That was really well played. I guess we just clear board again, right? So I can't leave both of those units up. Otherwise I can probably lose next turn. Or are we going to go for game? Because I do have the Amaru. Four cards in hand, two life left. It might be risky. But you know what? I'm down. Let's try it. Let's go nine here for, for an L. And then we can do the Amaru on top of the Momonosuke. And we might be chilling. We might be chilling, boys. Yep. Well played. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This will probably be our last game for today. In hopes that uh, everyone enjoyed it and had a lot of fun. I'm sorry if this video was another hour long. I tried my best. You know how it be. Sometimes they are generally over an hour. Even though I don't want them to be. But you know, what are you going to do? We'll come at you guys playing with another Nell list. Playing into Perona. Which, unfortunate for her. We have access to Kikinojo. And she can't bottom deck. So, this is going to be a rough time. Especially if you can draw into it off of our, you know, draw and or trigger here in the early game. I get she can just rest our units, but we are not necessarily worried about Perona as much as you would be worried about something like Gecko Moria as a L. So, we'll see what we can do. What did they get there? Toshigi? Okay. They get a 2k counter. Not really a big deal. Let's do the thing. Go seven to face, get the banner off. They never expect this. Better counter out. Come on. Nice. I didn't expect me to actually do a damage. I wanted to try to at least get two 2Ks from hand or a 2K and a 1K, you know what I mean? In the early game, we got the event out of that. So I think that's much better on our part than it is hers. So 
Burning one card from life is, isn't too bad. We are not a double attack leader like Yamato, so... I don't know if that was the right call in her half, but we'll see. Hmm. Get rid of one Shirahoshi. Reject might not be as valuable here, but we might need it for the end game. Momo, I don't see it being useful, considering she can just minus it and then rest it. So, X-Drake's a problem. It's a big body I have to deal with somehow, shape, or form. Let's go 7 to face. Get down to Kikyo after this, and then we're in business. The only thing she's going to be able to do to that is rest it, then pop it. If she decides to kill it by any means necessary, we're just going to gain life. So, I'm totally cool with that. Which you should be too in this matchup. She's kind of like... She's kind of like that, that pseudo blocker. Even though she's not meant to be a blocker, you know? Six cards in hand here. I need to get more damage in before we get closer to the Dofi turn. Let's go ahead and counter out. Counter out here is probably the better play because I don't think she's going to stack all of the Dawn on leader to swing here. I think she wants to develop something else on board. Nice. So that's probably a blocker that's going to come down here. We have the 2k. Or she could put 4 on brand new. So I guess we'll just let it go. Was that going to be her play? Yeah, okay, it was going to be the play. Awesome. Cool. Now I don't feel so bad. Let's play down Gadetsu. Let's just remove Rosinante immediately. Because I don't know what deck this is. This could be potentially a kid. I have no idea. I don't want to find out, so. Let's go 8k into x -Drake. Let me get that counter. Come on. Nice. We knew that they had Tashigi, at the very least. I think we might be safe here to actually play Big Mom next turn. Depending on what they do. But I do want to get her down before they get Dofi on board. It's 5k. Let's take the hit. Nice. The zero cost event is pretty good here. Unfortunately, we don't have any Hiyoris. I think we need to counter out of this. Yep. We can zero cost event a big mom away and or the reject. So I think we're still chilling. Double blockers come down. That's a problem. Maybe the reject that should have kept it. Ooh. Alright, so we get a Hiori for next turn. We definitely mom here. I think we can use and now to clear the brand new. Or we just try to clear the extra egg here. We have to go six bare minimum due to Sabo. Let's go ahead and go seven. I know this is a weird number. I get it. And I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have went eight. But if I had gone eight, I wouldn't have been able to go seven with Kidetsu as well. Nice. This way, I just get the 2k out of hand if they do have them, instead of a 1k counter. Yep. Cool. Play down Mom. They should heal us a life. Man, that was a weird play. I don't know why I did it like that. Probably should have just went, like, 8k into uh, Enel. I guess, maybe? I don't know. Alright, come on. Let's go. Alright, so we get the heal up. Appreciate it. We'll pass turn. I think we're doing really good, unless that's a Dofi in hand. I'd imagine, considering they blocked out with Rosie, they didn't have the counter in hand, so it's a potential that it's probably a 10 drop. And if that was, we are not prepared. Yeah, it's a 10 drop. Okay. That's fine. It is what it is. What am I going to do about it? Nope. Cool. 
It's okay, though. It's okay. We're still chilling. It's all right. Ooh. Actually, we could Katakuri the Shirahoshi back on top of life here. That wouldn't be so bad. This should be free. Right, so we get rid of the extra egg. We play Katakuri down. This bounces to the top of life. And we'll pass turn here. Shirahoshi will at least allow me to cycle out the Big Mom and the Momonosuke if I have to. As long as they don't dofi me back to back, I think we're chilling. I mean, we have to let it go, right? Otherwise, Dofi's just going to attack into it, so. You got it. Alright, hit me. Let me get my Shirahoshi, please. Let's go. Considering I let the Gidetsu go, that should tell them that I don't have a lot of counter in my hand. Otherwise, I would have blocked out the 6k. Let's be real here. Ooh. Isho is spicy. I love it. Alright. That's a problem, though. How do we come back from this? Can we come back from this? I cannot kill the Dofi due to the Sabo being here. I don't have Reject here. Which now I'm like, I'm starting to wish I did and just got rid of the Big Mom instead of the Reject, you know? So I can't kill the Dofi unless I just stacked on on both these characters. Or sorry, my Katakuri and my leader. That pushes me to 10. I think we have to go to 12, but if I go up to 12, I cannot play Big Mom down. I don't know if that's okay. I mean, we do have three life. This might be okay. I might just have to suck it up and play down Momo, but we'll see. I'm not sure why we're stalling so long. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Goodness. The power of editing, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, that was probably the wrong play. I think she should have guarded out with Sabo, because now if she stacks Dawn on Isho, like let's say she puts Isho to 10 and then attacks my Katakuri, I can just zero cost of that. Instead of just putting one Dawn on Doflamingo, then swinging into me, I'd have to put the zero cost and another counter out to protect Katakuri. So now the only thing that's really going to swing this game back in her favor is multiple Doflamingos. So I think we're chilling at this moment in time. Yes, I get it. You can rest blockers for free. I understand. The Isho tech here is really good. Yep, you got it. Fair enough. Yep. Okay, now we're in trouble. Wow. Top deck Doflamingo. That's crazy. Huh. I'm not sure if we can win this game, guys. If she hits me, I do get Shirahoshi. Okay, never mind. We play down Mom, we heal a life. Hmm. That's really our only play that we have right now. I think we have to go for that. Let's go six to face. This way they're forced to give me counter or block with Sabo here. And instead of just opting to take the hit, you know, for free. This way they have to do one or the other. Nice. I just played on mom. Can I heal up, please? I think if we heal here, we win the game. But I also think if we get a trigger off one of those two cards down there, like a Kikinojo or something, we'd still win the game. Realistically, I don't know if giving me the life in her scenario is probably the best play or not. I feel like it was, considering that she can get a damage in. But it's also another card that goes to my hand here. Oh, she's going for game here. Hmm. Let's not do that. Let's not do it. There's no reason to. Okay. Big Mom's gone again. Well played. Hidetsu's not doing any use here. Amaro can't rest Sabo either. And there's no shot we kill Isho, so... We're probably just going to have to play Yamo and heal. At least our board is safe, because she doesn't have any more removal right now. Yeah, we probably should play Katakuri here instead. He at least would put Shirahoshi back on life, and we know who that is, instead of like a random card in this matchup. Let's go three here. Nice. That's three. 
Hmm. I just think doing this is the wrong ordeal. Let's go six. Let's go six first. Let's try for this. Do you block or let this go? If she doesn't counter out, okay. Because we know she had the Monet. We can't pop anything here, unfortunately, but we do get the gain of life. We can't pop anything there, but we at least get the gain of life, which is really nice. I still think that we should probably play the Katakuri and put the Shirahoshi on top instead. But perhaps the 9 drop might be a little bit more difficult for them to deal with. Go and counter out. We'll counter out again. Dude. She's gonna play another Dofi here. She's got to. The way that she's attacking. She didn't attach Dawn to Isho either, so yeah, this is definitely a Dofi swing. Or a Dofi coming down. Yep. Um You know what? Let me counter out of this. She's going to play Dofi here. There's no way she swings on this with Sabo. We can get rid of either Katakuri or Yamato. I know this sounds crazy, but I think we got this. Let me cook. Let me cook. Right? Yup. And then no swing with Sabo. Correct? Cool. We did it. We got there, boys. Because now we can take Katakuri and put Shirahoshi back on top. And then go for game that way. Because Nami's going to go next turn anyway. Or we can put the Onami on top of life. Instead. Let's go for the Isho. This seems like a something that we can actually get. Other than her blocking with Sabo. Come on. There you go. That's my girl. Good job. Alright. Dukata. Putting Shirahoshi back on top. It all depends on how, on how she took that turn. If she decided to let the um, the card go, the Sabo go, or sorry, the Isho go, we would have put Onami on top to pop the Sabo. That way we could potentially win for a game here. But considering she blocked, we can play down the Shirahoshi in hopes that we draw a zero cost event or another 2k to sustain us for the following turn. If she dons up Isho, then we already know. Yep, okay, cool, we're chilling. We're chilling, boys. I mean, I can't counter out of it, you got it. She played around the zero cost event there. Which is smart, but you didn't have to go um, 14k. Oh, never mind, she, she did go 13k, that was right, never mind. Come on, Katakuri. You got this, buddy. I'll play this down. She doesn't have a blocker out. If she doesn't have a Rosie here, we might be able to win game. Hmm. Trashing Katakuri means I cannot put Shirahoshi back on life to cycle through. Oh, Nami's not going to get value, that's for sure. So perhaps we don't need the Katakuri? We'll see. She can still swing into that, so yeah. It's a good thing I got rid of the Kata. Two Dawn open. Rosanante? So what else does she play on Two Dawn? Okay. She just passed turn. Crazy. Hmm. Alright, they just passed turn instead, it looks like. Instead of playing like a Rosinante, that means they don't have one in hand. I think it's fine for us to just start manipulating life again. So we get a Shirahoshi off of that. Let's put let's plant Beji here instead. 
considering the way this works, we can veggie a Doflamingo or like the Isho or whatever. And our leader ability should be able to keep us alive and sustain the rest of them because we do have a bunch of counter in hand. Not too much, but we at least have 4k, so. And now we can clear two units off board. We should be all right. Let's go 11k here into Isho. So both of those cards need to have counter for him to survive here. Wow. Wow. All right. You're cool. Let's get that out of here. One more turn to go. This is a very long match, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a very long match. I'm trying my best. The amount of stall that Perona can do with Doflamingo is insane. But it's still not a tier 1 deck. Crazy enough. Oh, she locked me out and then passed turn. Why on earth would you do that? I mean, I guess I have the counter for X-Drake and Ryuma and Leader, I suppose. Or at least Leader I can block out. I can 2k counter the X-Drake. Yeah, I think I was chilling, regardless. I think that was the right play. Maybe it was. I think it was the right play. I'd hate for her to lose because she made a mistake thinking that she, she shouldn't have done that instead of attacking. But I think that was probably the right move for her to do. You know, passing turn back over instead of attacking there, it might seem awkward, but I think it was the right turn to do. Because we had the counters to block out leader, we could block out the Kuzan, we'd had to take the X-Drake, or sorry, yeah, the, no, we'd have to take the Dofi and the Ryoma, so we'd be at no life. And we knew we'd put a Beji there, so I think we were chilling. So now what do you do? We have the counter in hand for the rest of this too. Pretty sure this should be GG. Sixth on left to play with. Yep. Mm. Seven, eight. I think we have to take this hit. But. Mm. Do we? No, we have to counter out. If we don't counter out, we lose here. Ooh. Alright, let's take the hit. Alright, so we get an Amaru off that, which is really good. We discard both of these, we go back up to zero. Whatever this card is, we can pitch for the zero cost event for the following attack. Yep. Hey, let's go, boys. We didn't even need the Veggie, though. We didn't even need it. Sorry, a little bit of banter, it's my bad. Apologize. Yeah, we didn't even need the veggie. Actually, no, wait, we did, we did, we did. Because if we got rid of the veggie, we would still be up to 8k. So we're chilling. Yellow being yellow, doing yellow things is crazy. Alright. Monet's here on board. We have to attack with Hiori first in this, recall, in this uh, situation, I think. Because attacking with anything else, she just rests our Hiori. One, two, three. I guess either way we win the game here, right? Yeah. So I don't think it matters on how we do this. But let's get Hiori into the action, you know? She, she did a good job today. Definitely did a good job today. I should go 5k. She either has, has to block or take the hit, so it is what it is. And uh, GG. It was a lot of fun. I think this is probably like a... It feels like a half an hour or so. So I'm going to say about half an hour. I'm sorry, guys. I tried my best. 
Again, the Doflamingos really stall out decks, I'm trying to tell you. But we got there, man. All of the healing. We played well. And I think this is a good game. Oh, I forgot about the Momo. Heard of Monet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate everybody for making it to the end of the video. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, that last match was was super long. I am sorry. I tried my best. All right, with all of the Doflamingos back to back to back, the stalling, it was not fun. Okay, it was not fun for nobody. I apologize. But for those of you guys who made it through the end of the video, appreciate you. I very much do. Our channel has been phenomenally growing due to everybody coming over here, watching my content for whatever reason. I don't know why. I talk a lot. I'm sorry about that, but you know, hey, people tend to love longer, hour-long games for some reason. I'm here for it. In any case, let's dive back into this deck list here, in which this will probably be a deck list I'm going to play with for the rest of OPO6. There will be like a little bit of slight edits here and there. I do think for the most part, it does very, very well into a lot of decks in the format. Now, I do like the Skypea version as well, and I've also like came up with a, a version in order to like make soul pocus work here as well because i do really like like that card so i mean what do you want me to do in which this is a sky pia variant if you're interested in the sky pia version of anel with the shura the holly the ohm as well as fitting in soul pocus without hurting the deck too much at all we can go back and look at the other one if you want to here real fast so here's this one we essentially took down one Shirahoshi, took out the Rejects to make sure we can make room and one zero cost event to make sure we can make room for the Soul Pocus in the regular version. So for example, this one here. So you still have the exact same card, just a little bit of different ratios, which is nice. I know a lot of people are, are very much enjoying this event card, and I know it's not featured in a lot of decks, but it does really, really well. It allows Anel to sustain himself a little bit better. But I like both variants. I like this one that we came up with, with it, or without it, and then with it as well. And for those of you who are interested again in the Skypea version, here this one is one more time. Which is very, very strong, especially slamming out bodies on board, such as Ohm and Holly. It's very good into Katakuri, considering going wide early can put that deck so far behind. But either way, this has been Paul's Plays. Remember to smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe for your content when it comes to the channel. And I will catch you guys at Locals. Stay safe out there. I'll see y'all later.